Hi everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure a very simple RIP network. So we've got two routers here. You see the IP addresses dot ones on router one and dot twos on router two. And a dynamic routing protocol, if you're just starting out with your Cisco certifications, it lets us put in networks and it lets us advertise networks so that we don't have to type in static routes everywhere. So we could get full connectivity on this network if we wanted to with just static routing and it would, wouldn't be too bad because we only have two routers and two loopbacks but imagine if you had a network with five routers or ten routers or a lot of routers that's that's a lot of typing for for static routes. And you could do it and I've heard I've heard rumors, I, I don't know if it's true or not, but I've heard rumors of people going into the CCIE lab and just for fun doing all static routing, but you know, I don't know if you want to waste 1400 bucks these days just to, uh, just to get that to work. But what we have here is we've got these two routers, and with RIP we could actually put in a very simple three to four line configuration that will give us full connectivity between everything. So we're going to go on router one. And to start it off, we're going to do router rip, pretty easy. And then there's two commands that should be pretty much automatic. So no auto stands for no auto summary. So what rip will try to do is rip is a, a classful protocol. Even if you go into version two, so the second command that should be automatic is version two. Version two is classless, so it understands subnet masks. However, rip as a protocol itself still tries to summarize everything to the classful boundary. So Okay, what does that mean? Well, if we look at this loopback address right here, it starts with 10 and then it's dot one dot one dot one. We've got a slash 24 mask, mask there. So what we're seeing here is the network portion of this is 10 dot one dot one. And the host portion is just this last octet right here, the dot one right there. Right? But what RIP does is RIP looks at the 10 and goes, well, you know what? 10 is a class A, so you really meant to make this a slash 28. That's the whole point of summarization. It's going to basically crush the the subnet mask left, and it's going to kill the slash 24, make it a slash 8, and get rid of all your extra information there. Not something you want to happen, because it will, it will definitely cause you problems depending on your IP addressing scheme. Right? I don't know too many people that are still running 10 you know, with the slash 8 in their networks. So you do router rip. You do no auto, version 2. Those three commands, those three lines of commands should be pretty much automatic every time you type in uh, router, router rip. So router rip, no auto, version 2. Right? And then we're going to do a network command that's going to throw all of our interfaces into rip. So what this is going to do is it's going to start out rip broadcast, uh, actually multicast in version 2, and it's going to throw out these multicasts every 30 seconds on the fast ethernet link. So Every 30 seconds it's going to blast out there and every 30 seconds on loopback one it's going to blast out the virtual interface. It's also going to take these two networks and throw them in the routing updates so that router 2, once we start out RIP on router 2, it will then know how to get to the loopback address. So let's try it. There's a cheating way of doing it and it's network 0000, 000, 000. and what that does is it stands for throw everything into RIP, like I don't care. Boom. So we've started RIP on router 1. We could verify that with show IP protocols. And we've got some interesting information here. And we'll cover it in the next video. Now I'm going to go into router 2. Move my terminal window over here. So on router 2, conf t, router RIP, no auto, version 2. So on router 2, we're going to use a different network command. Instead of typing in network 0000, which is kind of the cheating way of doing it, here we're going to be a little bit more precise. And we're going to do network 1.0.0.0. So anything starting with 1. Notice I cannot put in a subnet mask. So with RIP, we could do network 1.1.1.2. That will work. We could do 1.0.0.0 that will also work. And in fact, since 1 is a class A network, it doesn't really matter what we type in after 1. It could be it could be something like that. And it will still take that interface. So, hey, let's try it. Network 1.9.9.9. .9 .9. Don't 
then we've got our loop back, so it starts with 10, so network 10, and we'll do 10.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Okay, exit out of there, show IP protocols, and you can see that RIP changes it for us. Even though we typed in 1.9.9.9, it changes it and says, oh, okay, you really meant to type in 1.0.0.0 since it's a class A. And you really meant to type in 10.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Yeah. But if we go back to show run pipe S and rip, ah, you could see it also fixed it here too. So router rip version 2, and you could see those two network statements have been cleaned up for you by rip. Okay, let's see what's in our routing table. Show up your route. And you can see we now have a R route, a RIP route, that goes to router 1's loopback, and we can ping it. Boom. Okay, so this R route came from router 1, and this is updated to us every 30 seconds, whether we like it or not. All right, so that's a very quick and easy example of how to set up RIP, probably the simplest, simplest RIP configuration or dynamic routing configuration you'll ever do. Let me just show you the commands that you typed in. Show run pipe s for section rip. And you can see there router rip version 2 and uh, we're on router 2 so it's network 1000 network 10000 no auto. It's pretty easy. If you want to do the Hail Mary way of putting in all your networks into the rip routing information, you know, the RIP protocol, then it's network all zeros. That's the cheating way of doing it. All right, well, thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to go over what the show IP protocols information is for RIP. Thanks for watching.